6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, perfect. All right, so basically um, what this is, we're going to be building a big tower that's going to kind of look like a big construction site, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, God, is that right? I'm going to have to recount that. Um, I'm sorry, uh, I know I, sh I should be able to commentate and count separately, but I can't. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, perfect. And um, okay, basically this is going to be a giant red tower that's going to kind of be reminiscent of a construction site. and. I am going to make it a big free fall roller coaster. Uh, basically what that means is there's the only tracks in the coaster are going to be going up to the top and the rest of it you're just going to fall freely down all the way to the bottom. And it's um, it's going to be uh, not much of a roller coaster, more of just like a thrill ride. But I think, you know, you got to have a little bit of balance. I just, I mean, I know this is called Let's Build a Roller Coaster Park and the main focus is to be building roller coasters. And so this is kind of a roller coaster. It kind of is, in its own way. But um, I thought, you know, maybe I'd switch it up. Uh, last time we didn't build much of a roller coaster either. We built kind of a jump puzzle inside of a minecart, uh, basically. Um, not even a puzzle. It was I'll go, oh, I've done this wrong. All right, it needs to be like like that. So let me just go back and hit the underside of this. This, uh, all the stuff that I built. I shouldn't have built so high without uh, making sure that I built it correctly. But anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yes, right over there last time, you can sight. All right, look up in the right corner, you can see it. That is the ride over there. There's a big hoop that uh, I'm going to set on fire every time I ride it. I'm not gonna leave it on fire because the roller coaster is made of wood and I don't want any uh, bad things to happen. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was last episode when we built the par parkour, the ride is what it's called. And this right here, I do not have a name for. I have no idea what I want to name it, so I'm going to leave that up to you guys if you want. If you can think of a good name, um, maybe, it, maybe you should hold off on thinking of names until you see the whole thing finished. But um, it is basically just you fall down. You fall where you're going to fall very far way down. Because uh, what I haven't told you yet is I'm not going to build this tower and have you fall all the way to the ground. I'm going to make a huge hole underground and you're going to fall all the way underground. Um, <laughs> and it's all the way maybe to bedrock, maybe not that far down, but a very long way down. And I'm going to do that by lighting TNT and dropping it from the top and hitting the bottom and then just continuing to drop TNT down so it blasts a huge hole like through uh, the bottom of, well, through, down to the, the, uh, bedrock level, I guess, uh, and you're gonna fall all the way down, um, you'll probably have to teleport back up, um, I might set up a command block, no, I'll do that, I'll set up a command block that'll let you teleport all the way back up, because even flying all the way up here from bedrock takes a long time, so, I mean, uh, having to climb up a ladder or walk up a staircase, that would just take forever. So let's see, I think I've reached, yes, I've reached the maximum height. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to finish this last uh, cross on this wall, and I might build up another crossing as we do have a good bit of time left. Still got about 15 minutes left. Um, so I'm, oh, whoops. Okay, so I'm going to build up this side of the, of the tower and probably that side right there. And after that, we are going to construct the whole construct. Uh, we're going to destroy the ground that's creating a hole. And um, you're going to be able to just fall right down. And it's going to be a fun, thrilling ride. It's uh, not going to take a whole lot of effort to build, really. Um, all right, so this is what these sides are going to look like. And now i got to uh, pull this across. Each side is just, oh, OK. Each side is just going to look like this. It's going to look like this on all sides. And then uh, there's going to be a rail going um, up in, in between and spiraling, spiraling around that takes you to the top. And since I have enough time, I'm gonna build up this side too, because I might as well. And uh, there's going to be a rail that brings you to the top and then it's going to just launch you off and you're going to fall straight down the middle. 
Um, oh, I didn't think of this. How are you gonna land safely? I'm gonna have to add either rails or water down there. So, um, rails would probably be more appropriate. You know what I could do? Is I could have you land on a, um, is it called a detector rail? Or, yeah, a detector rail. The ones with, like, the pressure plates built in. You can land on one of those. That could be connected to a command block, and that could just teleport you back up to the surface. That, sound, that sounds like a nice idea. I gotta make sure I get the calculations correct, though, to make sure that you don't miss the rail and die. Because um, eventually, I want to be able to, um, oh, whoops. I want to have this entire roller coaster park functioning so that you can play it in uh, survival mode or even adventure mode. I want to have everything uh, just totally done because right now I, I just fly over to whatever roller coaster I want and I just get out of my cart and I uh, press it and I ride it. And if I fall all the way down or if I catch on fire, which is kind of a concern in the parkour rides considering you do jump through a big ring of fire, um, you know. I don't want to uh, die while in my park because I want this park to be fun and just safe for everyone. Um, there is a problem. We do have a an infestation of a dangerous carnivorous squid um, that like to eat people. Um, not no, they don't like to eat people. They they like to eat uh, like chickens and cows and sheep. But I mean, if if a human crosses their path, they they will show no mercy. So. Uh, we don't have much to worry about because they're not going to come after us, but if you do happen to run into any of these carnivorous squid, uh, swim the other way as fast as possible, but more than likely it's it's too late for you. So I'm probably going to call an exterminator uh, or something like that pretty quick. Alright, so we've got this all done. Uh, got this all done. I, I, I shouldn't even be talking about the squid problem yet uh, until, uh, until the ride opens. I mean, until the park opens, really. Uh, but I've already, I've already confessed it to you guys, uh, no, no use trying to hide secrets anymore. Uh, <laughs> what was I talking about that got me on the squid tangent? Alright, so, the ride itself is gonna start around like here. And I think what I'm gonna do is have power rails. And so, um, I don't know, I don't know what I wanted, how I wanna power these yet. If I wanna put a redstone block for decorations or if I just wanna hide that lever or something. Um, I'm not gonna work on functionality quite yet. I'll do that. I'll do that in a bit. I might just add a chain rail. But uh, right now, I'm just going to set up all the rails and have it carry you all the way to the top. So let's do that right now. So at this point, uh, the rail will come right here, and then it's just going to spiral, spiral all the way across the top and unfortunately I can't I couldn't get it to work out mathematically to where I could just place them like that uh, I have to place them in the most inconvenient way possible which is uh, right under just placing them right like that which is kind of a shame uh, I wish that had worked out I wish math was on my side um let's see we're we gonna place these rails like this like so and then we're gonna, um, oh, just place more rails. Right, right. Uh, uh, easy, easy stuff right here. Okay. There it is. I'm gonna put the rails like that. And we're just gonna continue this all the way to the top. And I think we're going to almost make a full lap around before we have to uh, stop. I don't know if that's completely true or not. Actually, I don't think it's true. We're not going to make an entire lap, but we're going to get close. Uh, yeah, we're going to get pretty close. So we're just going to continue building up like this. It's not that hard. Just, okay, i got to make sure that I'm not uh, going too far, because, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and um, build up this one pillar, uh, this one side. I'm not going to uh, build the entire side completely just yet, because uh, I don't think that's that would be necessary for me to do right now. But I am going to build, because this is the only uh, corner that hasn't been built, and I feel like it, it needs to be built. And I'm also going to go ahead and connect everything. I'll just, I'll just save the X's for later, because those do take a little while to build. I might be able to finish them off uh, on camera, but no promises. If not, then I don't think it's that big of a deal. I can just do it off camera. It's really um, probably not that interesting anyway, so... All right, so we want to have it directly in the middle. Come and, yes. And then I think if I put a diamond rail right here, 
and have it just launch you straight that way, you'll go directly down the middle. So I am going to do that uh, like this. I need to grab a diamond rail where, okay, they're right here. And for those of you who haven't seen any episodes of this yet, this is the expanded rails mod and it just adds in a whole lot of cool different types of rails for either railroads or how I like to use them is for roller coasters. So I'm going to do that like this. Uh, now that that is turned, I'm just going to break that and it just curves right off and it will throw you down, hopefully directly into the center. Um, I know that right, right here, I know for a fact that um, you will not have enough momentum or speed or power to get all the way to the top just yet, but I'll work that out later because that's just technical stuff that's not exciting or important. And now here comes the fun part of this video, which I am so excited for. Okay, we need to get it directly in the middle. So I think um, right here is good. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, actually let's do this like an official construction site would. Uh, and we're directly in the middle right here. Um, okay, 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 this is, this is good. And let's see, grabbing this TNT, and we're just gonna place the TNT down and blow up the bottom, basically. Um, I shouldn't have placed the rails yet because those are gonna blow up, but there we go. All right, so we've blown up a little bit of the bottom of the tower. No worries though. It's really, it's not a big deal, there's no problem, but we're just gonna continue like this for a little while and just blow our way, uh, explode our way, or blast our way down to the bottom of the world, which is probably the most exciting way to say that. Yeah, all right, let's see if we can go two at a time or if that's just gonna uh, cause a problem. No, we, uh, we shouldn't quite go two at a time yet. Um, eventually, uh, once we start getting that hole like really far down, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the tower and start um, just dropping the TNT from there, so that uh, it doesn't take all that long to to uh, drop down, and we'll just see progress a little more quickly. Um, we can start doing it quicker now. All right, maybe that was too quick. All right, let's see how far we've come. All right, yeah, this is this is. An acceptable place to start uh, going down. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Um, I said I was gonna stop uh, swearing in my videos, or I was gonna try to, and uh, with that kind of comes a sexual innu innuendo. But I just thought of a really immature sexual innu innu innuendo. Yeah. And I thought, hey, you know, if any of you picked up on it, great. But I'm not gonna say it. Uh, leave it in the comments. That's always fun. Uh, just, uh, if you kind of picked up on it, then good for you. We both share the mind of a 10-year-old. You're probably 10 if you're watching this, by the way. Um, okay, that's not, that's not to say that calling all of you 10-year-olds, especially if you're not a 10-year-old, then obviously you're not. But I mean, my demographics do show that it's like, it's mostly like 10 to 14 years old, by the way. So, um, I, I kind of say like, whoa, what is this? Um... Did I get experience for blowing up coal? That's, that's funny. All right, so this is the hole so far. Hopefully, hopefully we like uh, find a ravine or like a, like a big open cave or something like that. That would be uh, ideal. So let's just, uh, we could probably like drop a few more, a little bit more quickly now. Yeah. And let's see, we have like five minutes left. Um, basically just, um, I think we'll probably just continue dropping these down for the next five minutes. Maybe not the whole time. You know what? I don't think it'll take that long for me to uh, construct another one of these X's, so I'm going to get that done right now. Uh, I'll get this one done. Justin, okay, actually, no, what I do need to be doing is fixing all this. Uh, I can't have this go unfixed and just in the video with the entire thing being broken, so I'm going to try to do this one. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, everything's gonna work out. All the math is right. All my calculations are correct. And we can easily just build this up and it's gonna connect. Oh, no, it won't, because I haven't built the side yet. All right, but if we do this side, then uh, eventually it's going to connect with the X on the front side of the thing, the tower. Yeah, the tower. And, okay, right, 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 right. 
Yes, it all connects, it, it lines up perfectly. So it looks like I'm doing this right. Looks like everything's gonna be symmetrical and it's gonna look good. Haha, <laughs> all right. So, um, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm out. Uh, what do we talk about next? Just, all right, let's think of, let's think of names for rides. I'm, I'm not gonna strange you guys and force you guys to leave your own comments. I'm gonna try to help out thinking of a name too because I gotta do my part. Um, let's see, the uh, construction fall, the, the construction tower of terror, or maybe, oh, um, you know what this reminds me of? It's kind of like a big oil derrick, you know, the big things that kind of like drill down. So maybe it could have something to do with that. Probably not oil derrick, because that's, uh, that just sounds gross. Um, because that's a very, ugh, gross thing. Um, it could have something to do with a big drill, with a big mining drill, or like, or like free falling down a mine shaft or something like that, or just a shaft. The shaft is probably not, <laughs> probably not the name I want to go with. Whew. So it looks like we're just about running out of time. Um, I, oh, no, 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 I can finish this. I can finish this. I can also finish the other side. I don't know if that's necessary for me to do in this video, but I mean, you guys, I could. You know what? Um, you guys, you guys get what it looks like. Look, I'm just gonna come over to the side and you won't be able to tell that the back isn't finished. All right, that's a lie. You can definitely tell that the back isn't finished. But, oh wait, no, now, now you can't tell that the back isn't finished. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. And so, yeah, we're just gonna spend the rest of the episode blowing up this hole. And, uh, that's fun. That's fun. Okay, so we're gonna blast down. I hope we see something really interesting Unfortunately, this is gonna kind of take a while because uh, TNT only blows up like one or two layers of stone at a time because stone is so hard and it's uh, very blast resistant. Oh, but there's some dirt down there. We can blow through that pretty quickly. And I see some iron down there, I think. Yes, I do. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> disaster avoided. Wow, okay. Um, we gotta, all right, we gotta put that back, but that would have been bad. I would have blown up like almost the entire inside of this. I can be more careful with my clicking. All right, so I'm gonna put that back down and put that right there so that I don't accidentally put it on top again. That would not be good. So let's see. We're, this is kind of like drilling. This is kind of like a, we're drilling a big hole just with TNT. Oh, there's such a great name for this ride somewhere. I just haven't figured it out yet. All right, all right, you guys, you guys. Um, is there a technical term? Uh, I gotta pick up all these entities because I'm lagging. Is there a technical term for um, drilling using TNT or dynamite? You like explosive uh, hole drilling? That is a bad name. I don't want that one. But um, is there a special name for machinery that does that or holes that... Um, are caused by that? Because if so, then that would be a great name for this ride. Hmm. I don't know. I think I will think of something. Uh, if I don't, then I trust that you guys will because you guys are probably smarter than I am. Uh, even though you're 10, you know, I'm sure, okay. Uh, I'm sure you have great ideas just as the rest of us. This is not, oh wow, that was, look, it's a perfect little square. All right. TNT. All right, if that's, I guess, okay. Um, so I think I'm gonna stop right there. Um, when I come back, it will be the special 10th episode. All of